and welcome back to Pixel Sanctuary. Today we're starting in a kind of different location. I don't think I've ever started a video in here. Actually, I, I may have very early on. But we are hanging out in the kitchen because I think I'm going to make some food today using Pam's Harvest Craft uh, because there's uh, so many yummy sandwiches in that mod that we don't really get to play with much and uh, I think it's time that we cook up something new. Because I'm playing with a lot of the berry sandwiches in Unicornocopia, I think we're going to stick to the BLT sandwich chicken sandwich and the fish sandwich. Uh, so let's get right into this. We need to figure out what we need to make these things. So let's start with the chicken sandwich. We're gonna need a skillet, which we should already have from the tacos. We're gonna need lots of bread, some chicken or tofu. Maybe we'll be able to get some of that over at the town. And some mayo, which is any kind of egg, which is actually really, that's really convenient. And a juicer. Juicer we definitely don't have, and that's a pressure plate and any kind of stone. So that's not too hard. I believe the fish sandwich is still very similar, it's just the mayo and the bread and the skillet. And now for the BLT, is a little bit more complicated. We're gonna need to plant some tomatoes, and we're gonna need to make some toast, which means we are going to need so much bread. Uh, maybe we're gonna we're gonna need to plant a lot of a uh, a lot of seeds. Uh, lettuce we should have plenty of, and we're gonna need some cooked pork chop for our bacon. So let's see what we have in here. We definitely have plenty of eggs. Oh, we have some tomatoes. We're gonna need lots of wheat and bread. I think that's that's pretty much it. We might have lettuce in here. Oh, we have lots of fish. That's gonna be helpful. Okay, we have plenty of lettuce but no pork chops. I believe some of that will be for sale in the pet shop. We will find that out. Definitely have a skillet. And now for some seeds. We are going to need a lot of these. Okay, we're gonna turn these into seeds. And let's go plant them. Okay, we're gonna start with these over here. And I forgot that I haven't fixed this yet. You know what? We're gonna do this. We need two more dark slabs. And I need, I need this wheat. While I'm at it, I might as well just uh, collect all of this. Yep, I'm just gonna till all of this for now. It's not all gonna stay. Although, I should just... I should just make this whole area my farm. You know what? This isn't gonna make a difference if I don't have any water coming to there. Okay, so let's just go ahead and fix this up here. I don't think having the slabs here makes a difference. Okay, water for you. And water for you, and let's finish chilling this area. I'm gonna be missing a tree. Oh no, these are carpenters, I forgot. Oh no. Okay, you know what, this, this will be fine. <sighs> Ooh, I didn't think that through. How did I do this the first time? I don't understand. Okay, now theoretically, I should just be able to get rid of this. You know what? I don't like that sound. I hope that's the sound of the ghost dying. I guess again. You know, I don't think the, uh, the carpenters is gonna work out anyway, so let's just... Let's just, uh, go ahead and do this our way. You're not gonna try and kill me, are you, scorpions? I don't think I trust you anyway. I can't tell if that was from a ghost or creeper. Ooh! I don't care what it was, I'll take that. <gasps> Weapons cases and ender pearls. Heck yeah. Okay. So, um... I can't get the trap doors on that one in particular, so... Uh, I guess, I guess that one's just gonna, gonna have to deal. Let's go plant these tomatoes. Um... Okay, that's three tomatoes for now. We're gonna have to go get some more, actually. I put these in the wrong spot. I want this to all be wheat. Okay, never mind. We're just we're just gonna have to go buy some more tomatoes. Okay, that should be plenty for wheat. Um, we're we're gonna we should go to town for tomatoes. Okay, so if we uh, go through this way over here, we have a little farmers market area, and one of these should sell vegetables or a way to get some Pam's Harvest Craft vegetables. I think it's you. I believe stock gardens uh, is what we're gonna need. 
but we are going to need to go to the bank. I'll take a couple of these. Thank you very much. Okay, there we go. And uh, you know what? I think I'm going to need a lot more wheat. Okay, yeah, but let's go ahead and break some of these gardens. I think one of those was tomato. Uh, no, no. No, okay. I think we got- we got one tomato. <laughs> oh, great. This is- this is gonna take a while. Well, in the meantime, while we are waiting for that to grow, let's go back to the town and get some, uh, some pork chops. Okay, hey, Rosalie. Uh, let's see. Uh, imitation pork chop. Perfect. Okay, with my, uh, my one silver coin. Ooh, I need chicken, too. And soy chicken. Perfect. Okay, so now we have to make a juicer. So we're going to need some stone. Uh, I thought I had some stone. Which, which one of you is normal stone? I don't think I have any. Okay, that's fine. Uh, you know what? Actually, how do I make a pressure plate? Is it stone also? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it is. And there is a juicer. Okay, so now we're gonna take the juicer and grab all of this mayo. Okay, cool. Okay, so we just need a lot of bread now. Okay, so that's, that's some. We need the skillet and we need the cutting board. Okay, now with the skillet, we can take the fish, and the mayo, and the bread, and a fish sandwich. Let's grab five of these. And now let's get the chicken sandwich. Great. And now we just need to cook up some of this pork chop and get five more BLTs. Because this is going to take some time, I'm, I have plenty of bones. We're just going to bone meal some of these. So since I don't actually eat tomatoes uh, in actuality, the BLT is not really uh, not really the sandwich for me. So I'm not going to plant a lot of these, but I do want to plant enough. Or rather, I just want to get enough for five sandwiches. Ooh, that was a lot. Oh, wait, it didn't give me any more. Perfect, we have five. Okay, and now we just need a lot of wheat. There we go, we have enough. Okay, so it's the bread. Oh, I forgot to cook the pork chops. Let's go ahead and use our fancy oven. I feel like I could have cooked this faster in a furnace. You know what? I'm testing that. Oh wait, let's, let's leave one in here. Yeah, to, to cook the two, because one of them was already done, it took took faster than just the one. Wow, okay, that's fine. We have all our pork chops now, though. Okay, so cutting board, bread, tomato, lettuce, and pork chops. I need toast. Ugh, what have I learned? Okay, try this again. Cutting board, toast, lettuce tomato, and bacon. BLT! Let's do this. Okay, so we have five BLTs, five chicken sandwiches, and five fish sandwiches. <laughs> now, you may be thinking, that's cool, you just made five sandwiches, but like, why? So, recently, and I'm talking by the day that I'm recording this, I'm talking about yesterday, I have reached a milestone that I did not foresee myself reaching this soon. I just hit a thousand subscribers. That's kind of amazing to me. So those sandwiches weren't just sandwiches. They were sub sandwiches. Uh, because right behind me, uh, right, right there, is going to be the future site of Pixel Hollow's brand new sub shop. 
So we are going to be building a sandwich shop for the citizens of Pixel Hollow. And I've already started grabbing a couple of the materials that I wanted. I want to use ghost wood. I want to use the sacred oak. Uh, I need to grab a couple of carpenter's fences, but I also want to use this dark wood, uh, which is from the nether. And we do have a bunch of leaves for it because I wanted to use, I wanted to try to use our shovel that has, um, what, what is it? Our lucky shovel, because I think it may uh, help us get some saplings and then we can go ahead and plant some trees. Okay, so first things first, I need to go ahead and grab some fences that may or may not... Okay, so I have some fences in my backpack. Um, we need to go get our lucky shovel. Uh, okay, good. It's got fortune on it. Okay, so we have to go and break these leaf blocks and I really hope that this works. I just need a couple of saplings. No, this isn't... this isn't working. Oh, it's a shame these dark wood planks are super cute. Oh, okay, maybe we can try to find a different plank. I mean, I suppose we could just use Midnight Blue. Maybe we could use these magic woods too. Okay, well, I guess, I guess maybe we'll try regular magic wood. Alright, I have to get rid of these trees anyway. Oh, but I wanted to keep that one. Dang it. I suppose that there's plenty of, uh, actually... Do I want to use cherry? Cherry would look cute. I kind of wanted to do a blue roof because my favorite sub shop by me has... Uh, it's white and blue. Um, and I kind of wanted to model it after that. And I mean, it will match the magic trees that are around here. Okay, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna go cut down a couple of magic trees over, uh... Somewhere hidden in a different mystic grove. And we will be back to build. Okay, so I should have everything I need to build now. Let's get started. Okay, so we are finally all done with building. I think it looks kind of cute. I'm really, really excited about this. And here it is. 1K's sub shop. So you kind of saw a lot of it uh, during the build. It was mostly the big building, but when you go out here, there's a little seating area and it looks like somebody's already left a sandwich. Uh, and you can come here and you can uh, sit and enjoy your sandwiches and just talk with your friends or the spooky realm people behind me. And then if we go inside here, we are greeted by Kay. And uh, she tells us what the sandwich of the day is. So this shop and Pixel Hollow is actually going to work a little bit differently than the rest of the shops. It is not gonna accept regular currency. So the coins that we use, they're useless here. At 1K Sub Shop, every sub is earned, much like my channel. 
we're not buying subs here. Instead, what we're gonna do is we're going to do community service projects uh, all around the town uh, in order to earn our subs. So if I'm gonna talk to Kay, she has a couple of things to say. Hello, Ursula's Bench, and welcome to my sub shop. I am Kay. What do you have for sale? Okay, so here are the different sandwiches she has for sale. These are all the ones that we've made today. We have the chicken sandwich, the BLT, and the fish sandwich. And you'll see that they are for purchase with donation vouchers. If we talk to her again, we can say, what a cute shop. How much for a sandwich? Pixel Hollow is one of the most community-driven towns I've ever been to. In spirit of that, I do not accept the normal coin currency they have going. Instead, I think it's better to earn your subs by doing bits of community service projects around the town. For example, did you know that Will the blacksmith is an aspiring fashion designer? Because all of his coins go to his business, he doesn't have much left over for materials to make his designs. You seem like somebody who knows their way around. I'm sure you've got an unwanted armor in those loot bags I see floating around too, or in dungeon chests. Tell you what, if you go donate some armor to Will's hopper, new or used, for him to repurpose into his new designs, I'll give you a donation voucher. Then you can get any sandwich you want. Sound good? Sounds great to us. So let's go fly home and see uh, see what we can get for Will. Okay, so let's see. We have we have some flippers that we're probably not going to need. We also have uh, we also have this helmet here. Oh, and we also have some boots. Okay, so I think uh, I think that this will suffice. Hi, Will. Okay, well we had no idea that you were an aspiring fashion designer. You go ahead, live your dream, Will. Live your dream. And take this helmet, and these leggings, and these flippers too. You're welcome. Okay, so now that we are back at Kay's, we can go ahead and talk to her to finish our quest. Good job, thanks for doing your part in helping our community. In return, please take this donation voucher, which you can redeem for any of my delicious vegan sub sandwiches. Every piece of armor that we donate is worth one donation voucher. Since we've donated three pieces, we can go here and grab uh, grab two more vouchers to make up for the other pieces of armor. There we go. Now we can talk to her and see what she has for sale. And we can grab any sandwich you want. And I am going to grab the BLTs. Before we go today, I have to give you guys a big, crazy huge thank you for helping me reach a thousand subscribers. You guys are absolutely incredible and I... Obviously, I could not reach a thousand subscribers without you, each and each and every single one of you. So thank you so much for that. I don't think I can stress enough how much you guys have inspired me to create my videos and just keep going and keep making content and just having a lot of fun as I have been. So I really, really do owe you guys a massive thank you. None of this would be possible without you. So thank you so much. The sandwich is for you. Oh, I, I have... I have extra sandwiches, but I can't eat these. <laughs> so that is where I'm going to leave this episode. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and to subscribe to see the continuation. And don't forget to check out Runa's channel because she is going on different adventures than I am. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.